Hi guys, today I'm back with another app introduction video. I've been testing this app called Logsic for a really long time. I don't actually know if that's how you pronounce it, but Logsic. I've been so obsessed with it and I've been researching everything that is about it. If you have heard of Rome Research, this is basically kind of the same with more or less the same features. I'm just now realizing that I didn't really do a good job at explaining what I was trying to share. Like Loxic is basically an app that I use as my second brain. If you haven't heard of second brain, it's basically something that you put everything your brain thinks of into so you don't have to keep all that information in your brain and it should be easy to access, should be easy to navigate, should be easy to index. It should have everything that you could ever look for in there. If you want to learn more about Second Brains, you should watch some videos on it. But it's just been a really big part of my life because my memory is really bad. So I really like to keep track of everything. So I've been using this app as my second brain where I basically keep track of anything that happens in my life. And I have pages and tags for every single one of them. So if I want to ever find anything, I can find it immediately. So that is basically what I use this app for. So it is basically a note-taking app with bi-directional, multi-directional linking. So any page that you create can be linked to each other in any way. So what's different from Notion is that when you create a page, you have to choose where that page belongs to. So there is a set hierarchy. But in apps like Rome Research and Logsec, there is no hierarchy. So when you want to do research, it will be easier to just make that link. And what I mean by that, I will show you later because I've made some examples. But yeah, I just really want to share it with you guys because I found Logsec and it's completely free and it has a lot of plugins, which makes it really helpful compared to Rome Research because in 2019, I actually used Rome Research for a little bit, but I found it actually too expensive for my budget for what I was using it for. So that's why I gave it up for a while and used other apps for my journaling and diary and note taking. Now I found this free alternative, so that's why I'm using it. So here, what you're seeing is my daily page. Okay, so for example, I am recording a video right now. So here you can see I already used a couple of commands. So this double bracket links it to any page. So if I leave this block, you can see it links to the page YouTube, which is the page I used to organize the stuff that I want to film. So for example, contents, I wanted to film this Logsec video. So it is here. So you can see that anything that I linked with YouTube shows up here as a linked reference. For unlinked references, it just shows anything that has the word YouTube in it, but I didn't intend for it to be linked so i will close that as you can see it has a similar command feature like notion where you can just type slash to do a bunch of commands and what i used was times because i wanted to input the current time so now i want to add some notes under this block i will type tab and then say i'm recording the log zach video So I'm recording this video here. I can just click into it and see what I mentioned this video in. The main way that I use it is I make use of these pages called journal pages. So it's basically the date. I have the day of the week and then the day, the month and the year. I know that this is not the way that most people prefer it. So you can just edit it here whichever date format you would like but i like it this way because i like to know what day of the week it is so here you can see a bunch of now stuff these are called to do's so if i make a new block and say now drink water or something it turns into this now to do block and i can check it to tell this thing that i i did it and this will show me how much time i used between creating this block and completing it but i didn't do it yet so i will uncheck it so in this daily log these are the to do's that i made in other pages in any page i could just type in block letters now and it will show up 
in here. So I have all these tasks that I want to do. There are a bunch of ways you can use this app to do whatever you want it to. That's why it's so powerful, but I will share with you the way that I use it. So the main page that I use is called contents and that's all the categories that I want to keep track of. So the main thing <laughs> that is in here is entertainment because I really like to keep track of my thoughts of different entertainment. And the thing you can do is you can slash Curie and then I will search anything that has the tag watching. And then it will show everything that I'm watching, which is really convenient. It's basically like a dashboard. And then under here, the unhighlighted ones are just the stuff that I've been watching. Recently, I've been watching Hunter Hunter and for the purpose of this video and for my own fun of trying to explore this app and try to make sure if I like it. I made this really elaborate page for Hunter Hunter, which I'm going to show you later. I just basically have this contents page that categorizes a lot of the things that I want to keep track of that I have tags for. So life, interests, brands, books, people, whatever. And then I have another thing called dashboard, which I use the same method to track everything. So I curried the to do's and now's any to do that I tagged now will show up in here and it will tell me what page it is from and then another one is to do later so any to do that I tagged later I will see in here and of course you can make this super complicated and tag like to do later anything to watch any book to read you can make this as complicated as you wanted I'm pretty sure there is a plugin that makes a dashboard for you so that's also really cool let me see I installed it on my MacBook, but I don't have it here. Yeah, 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 agenda. So you can basically install it and then you will see an agenda of all the to-dos that you do and it will tell you the to-dos. You have different views of your tasks and that's really convenient. So after that, these are basically the two main hubs that I'm in aside from the journals page. I'll show you what I use for journal because that is a little bit complicated. So let me show you an example from yesterday, which is the 1st of September. In here, you can see that I was watching Hunter Hunter and I first tagged this page hashtag Hunter Hunter and you can see that this links back to the page where I made a whole freaking wiki of Hunter Hunter. So this, everything under this block will be tagged back to that page. So when I click back into this page, it shows me what I said on 1st of September. So I typed episode 79. I usually highlight the episode titles to equal signs on each side, makes it a highlight. Then I just type my thoughts. I don't know if you wanna, <laughs> wanna read that. So here you can see the character names are in blue and everything that is in blue is a link so I can click into it. I was typing, the more I see this dude, this dude, who am I referring to? Let me see. Oh, it's Jin. I was referring to Jin. So the reason why it shows different, it can explicitly say Jin, but in my language, like everything that you type, you don't repeat the noun every time. For the purpose of linking stuff, you use, you say the name every time. It just becomes really cumbersome and complicated to read. So having aliases, aliases? Having aliases is really important and I just found out the way to do it. Put a bracket for the text you would like it to present and then one parenthesis and then double brackets for the page that you actually want to link it to. So in this text, I want it to show this dude, but I actually want it to link it back to Hunter Hunter Jin. So that's what I did and it links back to Jin and it shows me every time that I talked about Jin. And this is a really elaborate way of tagging stuff that is really useful if you're studying because there might be a lot of concepts that is applicable to a lot of different subjects but you don't want to copy and paste the definitions of different words every time or you don't want to copy and paste the information of the authors every time and tagging like this just makes it so much easier and even in the hunter hunter page where i have the main characters the characters names are not just the names because you know some of the names might be words for example like biscuit and wing i don't want it to i don't want to like run a randomly just talk about a biscuit i don't want it to link back into hunter hunter you know so that's why i made a hierarchy for the actual page that i was talking about into hunter hunter slash biscuit so i know that whenever i tag this page it will be about the biscuit in this show and that goes for 
Great Island and Nen. But for the themes of this anime, it might go for different things. So like humanity, individualism, family and friends, kindness, loyalty, etc. It might go for different other texts or just themes in my daily life that I want to reflect about. So I didn't just specify Hunter x Hunter. And if I want to specify the theme of humanity, you can always use Kyori to do that. So that's also really convenient. So I mainly just used the hierarchy thing for characters. I'm using this example like in entertainment, but you can obviously do this for school, for work, academia, whatever. Easier to explain this way. I spend a lot of time on this thing. So for example, gender role is another theme of this anime. And I click into gender roles, you can see that in House of Dragons that I just started, I also talked about the theme of gender roles. I was talking about <laughs> the theme of gender role being a little bit too on the nose. You can just link everything that is related to this theme. So whenever you're like exploring this particular thing, you see everything that you mentioned about. So now you might have a question, like if you made a page for Hunter x Hunter, why do you write your notes for Hunter x Hunter in your journals page? And that is a question that a lot of people might ask because it makes more sense for a lot of people to just write the notes right where it should belong like it makes sense because we are used to having different binders for different subjects at school so digitally you might expect the same but the thing is digital notes are so much more powerful than physical notes and building a second brain is so much bigger than your school curriculum making notes doesn't really make sense unless you can use it and recall it. So I really think that if you designate a certain page for a certain thing, that really limits your mindset to when you can recall this knowledge and that renders your knowledge of that particular subject useless because you can't really recall it. Going back to why I'm used to writing everything in my journal page is because I can just add anything in there without really thinking about where to put it in the moment. And I can just tag it wherever and it will already show in the appropriate page that it is supposed to be in. For example, I have this page called the goals page. I have my goals for 2022 and it is to stop peeling at my fingers because I'm literally bleeding every day because I peeled my fingers. And in my journal page, I was like thinking about how I'm still peeling my fingers, but I stopped popping my pimples. So I tagged back to my page and how you do that is just double parentheses and you can search for that specific block instead of a page. And I tagged back to that. When 2022 ends, I can look at my goals and see how I progressed. And why this is superior is because I don't have to dig for that page. For example, if I were using Notion, I would have to go into my life page and then my goals page and then my mental health page to look for all these details. But if I remember the goal, I can simply type a shortcut and just tag it and simply write the thought that I have about it in that moment. And I think that's just really much more convenient and makes so much more sense because thoughts are fleeting. And if you don't capture it, it will go away. I, I, it sounds so cheesy. So the journals page is basically the dump where you put everything in your brain in there and tag as you go so that you don't have to go back and just put everything back into their place because they're already in their place. I've watched a lot of like Notion or other apps, tutorials or guides that always shows a little inbox where you have to go back every week or so to organize it. That is a good system if you can keep that up. But me personally, I'm not that person who is disciplined enough to just go back every so often to organize everything, put tags on everything, put notes on everything. It's just really tiresome for me. Another main thing that I really love about this system compared to Notion is that you'll have this complete timeline of when each thought or when each event or to do occurred in your life because in Notion there are separate pages for each thing so you can never really have an entire log complete log of what has occurred in that day or in that part of your life but if you use your journal page everything will just be listed out chrono chronologic chron in, in chronological order so you don't have to dig to see what happened and I, this is just something that i really enjoy personally because i really love to have a log on everything but yeah i just don't like to have to dig and find and if you can organize while also having this log you don't have to organize anything ever again i don't see why not 
So having this essentially like an inbox where I could just put everything and having a really effective sorting system is really good for me. So basically, so I hope this video has been a good introduction to this app that I've been using. It's completely free, so I really, really recommend all of you to go check it out, especially if you're in school, because the second I found this app out, I was so angry that I didn't have this app while I was studying because it would have just been so helpful to look at all the texts that have the same theme because I made this entire list on a piece of actual paper when I was studying for my public exam. So it's it was really crazy. It was a really hard time for me. But now you guys don't have to do that because technology, you know, like you guys have, you guys have all this. I've really been enjoying this app and I'm still discovering different um, features in it. So I'm really excited about the future that we will have, I will have with this app. So be sure to try it out and tell me what you think and I will see you next time.